Hey guys, what is going on? So I just want to give a little update on the Turkestron situation and the massive weight gain that I've had recently. So um, basically up to this point, I've been taking Turkestron for, I think this is day like 23, 24. So I've been taking it for a while and I hadn't really noticed much of anything. Honestly, I, um, you know, I, I was eating a normal amount. I was eating in maintenance. I wasn't gaining or losing anything. I had started a new diet, but it was a couple weeks prior. So I kind of had you know, a stable level of whatever body fat, muscle, whatever it was. And once I introduced this, I didn't notice any difference. Like it, it didn't really do anything positive or negative for me other than potentially I kind of talked about maybe appetite suppression, but other than that, didn't really seem to have any effect. Now I took my week break, which is something that I kind of talked about why I wanted to do that. Came back, didn't really notice much of a difference like right away training didn't feel stronger or anything like that but then once i started to and this might be the change or maybe it was just because it it took a couple weeks but uh i started taking my capsules throughout the day so i used to do i started off with two in the morning two at night and then i switched to three in the morning three at night going to six a day and now what i'm doing is taking the capsules all throughout the day derek talked about this in his most recent update about it where you know he doesn't know about the half life or anything like that and so um to kind of maintain that throughout the day it makes more sense to split your dosages up and considering i'm home all day that's you know, a pretty easy thing for me to do. It's kind of hard for me to remember the exact dosage. Like maybe like I take five one day and seven another day, but should level out. And literally like from the day that I started doing that, I feel like I, my weight has been going up like crazy. And I, I don't know how that's even possible. I don't know um, if it's water weight or, I mean, it has to be some type of water weight, right? But my weight this morning was 227 pounds, which um, if you guys have been watching my other videos, I basically started the vertical diet, gained a little bit of weight back after I was on a cut. And I've basically been around 220, 221 this whole time. Like I've just been stagnant. I haven't noticed any strength increases or decreases, any significant muscle change. I haven't noticed any noticeable things since I've been on this. And now since I started doing that, it's like, and my diet has been the same. My training has been largely the same. And I just have started to blow up in weight. And I don't know if this is just a couple flukes in a row. I don't know what is going on, but um, I feel like my, my legs just feel bigger. They feel like swollen. And I've been doing leg workouts this whole time. Now I have started to be able to go to the gym again. So Saturday was the first day that gyms were open since I started Turkesterone. I have been working out in my home gym, but obviously it's not the same as, as a normal gym. So I've been doing a little bit heavier stuff, obviously, but it's not like I've been maxing out on squat or anything like that. Um, I've been able to do like OHP and stuff like that. But yeah, I basically started going to a legitimate gym again. I uh, um, I found one that was really close to my house that is actually um, a really nice one and it's 24 seven and everything like that. So I've been going to that one the past couple days, but I mean, I can't, <laughs> I can't understand why a couple workouts would change anything in terms of my weight. Um, you know, in that short period of a time. So we'll see what happens. This is a super crazy weight increase for me. I don't think I've ever seen weight increase this quickly other than just going from like a cut to a bulk, but I haven't changed anything in my diet. I've been eating the same foods. I haven't cheated on my diet in a while. Like last time I cheated, I had one candy bar and an energy drink. And that was like the extent of my cheating. Like I eat within the parameters of the diet pretty much consistently. And I think one reason why I've been able to stick to this diet, it's been a little over a month, is because I like the foods and it's easy to stick to. I, I don't feel any need to really cheat or anything like that. And not that I've never cheated, but it's just like pretty much every day is like spot on in terms of my diet. It's pretty consistent. I don't track my calories specifically, but I have a pretty good idea of what my maintenance is. And I pretty much eat the same stuff every day. So the fact that I've just gained six pounds out of nowhere after changing up my dosage schedule... I don't know. Uh, uh, you guys tell me what you think. I'm going to try and update you as much as possible. But um, yeah, basically just been going to the new gym doing that. And then the one thing that I also want to mention is I got the Amazon Halo today. And this is just something where, you know, I got it after my first meal. So I can't really say. I did do a body fat scan on this. It said I was 16.7. I'd say I'm probably around 15. So 16.7 might be a little bit high, but I did take this after eating. So that's a factor. And this is something where I plan to do a naked body scanner, which is what I, I showed in my previous video once a month, because it's a little bit more time consuming. I have to do on an empty stomach. 
Um, and I don't want to get like a bad data entry point just by eating and then like, oh, I forgot to do the scan. And I pretty much do that all the time. So I basically try and like have a level of urgency and try and do it around once a month. Um, and maybe I'll try and do it more frequently. I don't know. But with this, I feel a little bit more comfortable. It takes like 30 seconds to do a scan on here and it might not be as accurate, but I could get a little bit more uh, data points to kind of track it a little bit more. And I'm not trusting the accuracy on this relative to my body scanner but they're all estimates anyway. And I figure it's a little bit better that it shows me, you know, a visual thing um, than just like a scale, which uh, I don't really trust those at all. But anyway, I got this, um, you know, I, I think it could be another tool in the toolbox. I'm not depending on this by any means. Obviously I do have my scanner, um, but in terms of just visually, I feel like for the first time over the past week, I've actually felt like I've been getting bigger. Like I feel bigger than I've ever been currently. Um, and I don't know what's going on. I don't know if this is a fluke. I don't know if it's water retention. Um, I'm very curious to see how this plays out over the next month or so because I feel good. I feel like my lifts are moving well. Um, I'm feeling, you know, nice pumps in the gym, mind muscle connection, everything like that. Like I have high energy. Um, things are finally starting to feel like, you know, whether it's the trichestrone or whatever else, it seems like things are really starting to click for the first time. So, um, you know, hopefully I can set a PR in terms of my lean body mass. Um, it seems like I'm getting to that point right now. And uh, yeah, I'll keep you guys updated. But I just wanted to share that. I thought that was really crazy to see just that massive weight increase with no changes in my diet. So anyway, that's all I got to say about that. I will keep you updated and I'll talk to you soon.